In this video, I'm talking about some mental tools to make system change. For example, change in your organization, in your company. You want to totally get a new functionality, a much better performance to fit to the new environment. So I'm going to talk about abstract thinking, mental model building and complexity and system thinking. These are the mental tools that you can use to innovate your organization. So first you really have to understand the current system that you want to innovate and you also have to know the history so you can see the evolution of the system until this point and it helps you to understand the evolutionary potential what evolved and how it evolved in the past because it can give you some clue about the future so you have to understand the specific of the present system and in the, in the past and first you build a very detailed mental model how it works so understanding means that you model in your mind the reality then when you have this you make a choice how to abstract this information and narrow down everything to the essence and this essence what is the functionality of this system in a larger society in the, in the larger system and this is a definition because you define that what does your that's a company does is it selling shoes it is maybe a larger it's selling uh, clothes for people or is it fashion so even if you do something very specific what your abstraction what it means what do you really do it depends on your definition and it can be very very specific or it can be very general and you have to find an optimal definition an optimal abstraction about your organization's future function how it function in a larger system what is the contribution and then when you have this you have to expand using uh, mental models again to create in your head or in the head of the people who are working on this uh, new system innovation a new mental model so the mental model building can have two different types one is like using analytical thinking to create a representation of the existing real life system you create a mental model about this one just for understanding and analyzing but this second phase when you know what is the main functionality of the new system that you want to to create you want to innovate then you have to imagine you imagine a new mental model how it will and you you fill out more and more details in your mind so you create a complex mental model so this is the creative aspect of modeling that you create from almost nothing a system that work works better than the old system in in the environment and then when it works and all the stakeholders of the system agree with this then it comes to the implementation and implementation means that makes it real in the real world make it work so first you have to be able to make it work in your mind as a theory as a mental model and if it works then at least you have some chance that it will work in the real life maybe not but if it doesn't work in your head as a mental model then if you cannot see that why would the customer pay money if it's missing this is an essence in every company so if if you cannot answer this question in the in, in your mind then probably in the reality the system will not work so when you it comes to seen a, a system innovation understand this process that 
mental model building about reality, abstraction, to find and define the essence of, of the new system and building a, a complex system in your mind. It's a system building, it's a mental model building and then implementation in the real life and making it work in the real life.